I am here with Benjamin, who is, of course, Agent Burley, Benjamin Byron Davies. Thank you so much for joining us. Congrats on the film. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Now, you get to do some cool stuff in this movie, particularly you get to hang out with Agent Jimmy Woo. Yes. Uh, what are you two up to? Well, we're keeping uh, Scott uh, under house arrest. We're doing our best to. He's sneaky, though. Yeah, he is sneaky. Well, he can shrink a lot. Yes, and that's not all. No. And that's not all. More stuff to come. No spoilers. But um, you got to work a lot with Randall Park then. How was that? Uh, it, working with Randall and with, with Paul together was, uh, it was a big challenge. I'm sort of a strong and silent type, so it was a lot of me listening to two of the funniest men I've ever seen be very funny and not laughing, which was a challenge. That sounds really hard. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was pretty hard. Did, now, they notoriously love to improvise. Did you get to get in on some improvisation? There was, yeah, a little bit. You know, we would we'd get the take that uh, Peyton was pleased with, and then we'd start playing around with it. And it would either come from them, or sometimes Peyton would be off camera and he'd be shouting alternate lines. Uh, but it was, you had to be quick on your feet. I love that. Now, were you a Marvel Universe fan before you got into this? I mean, isn't everybody a little bit? I, a, a super uh, nerd, I would say. Uh, Tell me everything. Well, 12 years old, issue 252, Spider-Man in the black suit, I think was the first one I got. And then Secret Wars started up right after that, and I was hooked on Marvel ever since. So. 1984, baby. This is a dream come true for me. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Uh, is there one story in comics that you just are like, love it? Uh, yeah, there's one, there's a, an amazing Spider-Man uh, before 252, I think, where he goes and he visits uh, a dying kid uh, and he tells him his secret identity. You know the one I'm talking about? I do, it's yeah, heartbreaking. It's, very, it's a very, very heartbreaking story, but really, really good. Uh, but there's, Marvel always has so much heart, so that's one of the best examples. Well, I think we're going to see a lot of that tonight, too. Thank you so much for speaking with us and congrats on the film. My pleasure.